Hello everybody, Mr. Lego Lover 55 here, and welcome to another Lego set review. Today we're taking a look at set 75166, the First Order Transport Speeder Battle Pack. This set is recommended for ages 6 to 12 and has around 117 pieces. So here on the front of the box you can see we've got the uh, actual set itself, set info, Lego Star Wars logo with a Dep tro Death Trooper up there in the corner. Uh, then here on the back it shows all of the play features that are included, which is pretty much a bunch of stud shooters, I'll just say. And that is pretty much it for the box. So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual set. Okay, so here is the set all built up. Now, uh, we'll take a look at the minifigures later, but as you can see we get uh, four minifigures in total. But uh, as for the actual speeder uh, itself, it's uh, pretty neat. So. Uh, I'll say it's a nice, cool, compact build. Probably my favorite thing about it is that it is compact, so, uh, let me just, uh, focus here. Uh, so as you can see, just my favorite part is the way they attach these shields and baton pieces. It's just nice and compact the way they did it, uh, so I really do like that. They just made sort of an indent there so that you can put the shields, because, uh, if they didn't have that indent, uh, the shields would be sticking out quite a bit, so glad that they did that. Um... So yeah, you can also just, there's a bunch of places to put uh, minifigures except minifigure accessories. So you've got these batons, you get two of those, you also get two of these shields. Um, and then you could also put on accessories as well, such as stud shooters. So uh, this is a stud shooter from a stormtrooper, or from these stormtroopers here. Uh, you can just put those on like that, which is very nice. Uh, also the one from the officer, you can just put that on right here. So... Just lots of places to put accessories, which is something that I really do like. Uh, so yeah, I can put the batons back on. Or have them be used, if you want. So yeah. Um, you can also put minifigures on it, of course. Uh, you can put a, a stormtrooper there, a first order stormtrooper there. Just like that. Uh, for this though, I don't like how it doesn't go up all the way, so you're gonna have to sort of turn that to the side in order for it to fit there. Uh, this comes off sometimes, I guess, which is a bit annoying. Um, so yeah, you can put uh, minifigures in different places, you can put him right there. Uh, I really do like these pieces right there, uh, you can see they are, uh, translucent clear, uh, I guess, wing type pieces or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what they're called, but, uh, they do look very nice there. Uh, this thing has just got a ton of stud shooters, I'll say. There's some stud shooters here, you can shoot those off, uh, and I'll have to find that later. There's also one on the other side there, uh, I caught that one. And then you can shoot all of these stud shooters. So, just a whole lot of stud shooters on this set, and I honestly don't have a problem with that. I think stud shooters are fun, although I just don't like losing the studs. Um, but, uh, overall, that's pretty much it for the vehicle itself. Uh, I feel like they maybe should have added some inverted tiles on this side. I feel like that would have been a whole lot better, so it could actually sort of, like, glide, but instead it's just on a flat plate, which is a bit disappointing. But, uh, overall, I think that's pretty much it for the transport speeder here, so let's go ahead and take a look at the minifigures. Okay, the first figure we have up here is, I believe, a First Order Flame Trooper. So, you can see he looks very similar to a regular First Order Stormtrooper, but he's got a bit of different printing. He's also got this flame gun right here, which is just, I think, the standard uh, long gun, I guess. And then they just add some pieces on there to make it sort of a flamethrower. Uh, he also has this sort of uh, backpack on him, so I'm assuming that's a bunch of fiery liquids, like a bunch of gasoline and stuff, maybe. Something like that. Uh, that's pretty neat that they added that. And then you also get one of those trans-clear neck bracket pieces, uh, or double neck bracket pieces, or something like that. I don't know what it's called, but uh, that is very neat. Um, if you take off the helmet, uh, which is also a very neat, neat piece as well, uh, you can see we've got that uh, standard uh, Django Fett uh, head. So that is pretty much it here for this figure. Okay, the next figure we have up here is the First Order Stormtrooper, and you do get two of these, by the way, so uh, that just adds to the, I guess, more collectible or collectability of this uh, set. Uh, you can make an army of Stormtroopers if you want. Uh, so the printing on this Stormtrooper is pretty nice, I'll say. Uh, standard white with some black printing, I guess, and then lighter shades of black on it. Uh, um, he's carrying a stun shooter, which is uh, pretty neat. Uh, 
Although I do say they ha they haven't really been making the old type of guns anymore. They've just been doing a whole lot of stud shooters nowadays, which uh, I like stud shooters. They're fun to play around with, but uh, I feel like they're doing it too much. I feel like if they at least had the option of also having the regular gun pieces or blaster pieces, then that would probably uh, make things a bit better. Uh, you can see he's got an awesome... Uh, helmet there, and if you take it off, it's just that same uh, Django Fett face. And last up here, we have, I believe, a First Order officer, I think. Um, this is a pretty neat figure as well. He's got some dark blue, he's got some dark blue, uh, a dark blue torso and legs, and there's no printing on the legs, but there is printing on the torso there, so that's pretty neat. Uh, you can also see he has a stud shooter, but this one is sort of modified to make it, I guess, sort of a longer type of stud shooter, so I do like that design. Um, although he can't really hold it with two hands, which is a bummer, but oh well. Uh, he's also got sort of a generic face, but it's not that same Django Fett face, I guess, which is pretty neat. Uh, he's got this weird but cool looking hat there, which is in dark blue. Um, so yeah, and he's also got a print on there. I think that's probably the First Order logo or something. Um, but uh, that's pretty much it for this figure, and pretty much it for the figures in general. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the instructions. Okay, so first page on the, on the instruction manual, we've got pretty much the same stuff as on the front of the box. Next page uh, shows that if you are confused, you should organize your pieces. Instructions, instructions, the final product, uh, then advertisement for some of the other sets that were released at this time. I believe this is a uh, 2018 set, or not 2018, 2017 set, so this one came out last year. Uh, I've got a list of minifigures that were included in all those 2017 sets. Uh, we've got an advertisement for Lego Life, and our good old list of pieces, and that is pretty much it. So, let's go ahead and move on to the end of the video. Okay, so overall, I really do like this battle pack. Um, I feel like it, uh, the, the speeder though, I feel like is, uh, probably my least favorite part. I do like how compact it is, but I just feel like it's a bit boring. It's just... It's mainly, I would have preferred maybe if there was like terrain or something, I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of the way it looks, I guess, but the pieces it is and how compact it is and pretty much what they did with the pieces, I think uh, works pretty well. Um, I'm just not a big fan of how it looks, I guess. Um, the figures I think are also pretty good. You get uh, two regular First Order Stormtroopers, then a Flame Trooper, and a First Order Officer. I could have done without the First Order Officer. I could have maybe gone for another Stormtrooper, maybe another Flame Trooper or something like that. Um, but, uh, I think overall it's a pretty good, uh, minifigure selection. But, uh, honestly, I don't have a whole lot else to say, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and keep building!